Chris here at 716 Car Guys. No Steve today, he is at work. Um, the point of today's video, uh, actually, if you recall, we have a podcast we did when we were short on content during the winter of our good friend of ours. Um, he's a C6 Corvette, kind of like mine. He bought it a little after mine, and he had nothing but bad luck with it. Motor problems, all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, if you haven't watched it, I will link that video at the end of this one trying out the mics today it is quite windy so we'll see how that goes but here we are this is peter's 2000 was it oh, 2011 11 c6 so peter how do you feel about having this car back i know a lot of our uh people our viewers subscribers have seen that video and i had a few people ask us what happened to the car because it was on a standstill after the motor incident and no one's really seen it yet. I see it's back out here though. It sounds good, looks good. Yeah, so basically the car, it was just sitting at um, one of our friend's shops that we were, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do engine wise. I don't know if I wanted to take the original LS3 that was in there and tear it all apart, take it to a machine shop, have them look at it and then maybe turn it into a, a stroker of some sort just for shits and giggles, but figured that'd be a lot of money and if I did that it would have all forged internals and then I would just want to boost it which would be even more money awesome though so yeah it would be awesome thought but, about it for a few months because I mean winter time in Buffalo can't drive cars like this anyways so I figured uh, give it a few months and think about what I wanted to do and I ended up um, ended up just wanting to order a new crate engine. And I, I figured if I was gonna be spending all the money on a crate engine, then I would do something that had a little bit more power than the original LS3. So I decided to go with GM Performance, uh, their Hot Cam series, which is basically just an LS3 with their GM Performance Hot Cam in it. And that bumped it up to, I think, 480 crank which the normal LS3 is what, 430 crank, I'm pretty mm, sure? I believe 430. Yeah, so we were, I put an order in for one of those and it actually, it was taking a while. It said it was in stock, I figured it'd be here in probably about a week, it was coming from summer racing, their shipping is always super fast. Right. So it was like two or three weeks that went by and I, I texted my mechanic and I was like, hey, do we have an update on the engine? He said that he had actually just called Summit and they told him that the engine had fallen off the delivery truck when awesome. it was in transit. <laughs> so it fell off, blew apart the intake supposedly, and we had to find a different option. They had in stock was the GM Performance, um, it's either 525 or 530 package, which is an LS3 just a, with a bigger cam in it. Instead of the hot cam, it's um, ASA cam, I believe they call okay. it. Um, so that was even more money, which I didn't want to spend, but I was already spending a lot, so I figured, fuck it, why not? And I... Uh, it's, not, it's not bad. So if anyone's been following these cars in particular, you'll know the market is absolutely through the roof on them. Um, unfortunately, yeah, I know you're still going to be in the red on it, but thanks to this inflation, when you are ready to let it go, you're not going to do anywhere near as bad as it definitely could have been. When... When you and I picked these cars up, um, not gonna say the numbers, but they were very, very, very close in price range. They were very competitively priced. Now it's, they're getting up there. Yeah, they, um, I was looking on Auto Trader the other day and I was looking up um, all the C6s just to see what they were going for. And right. they were actually going for low to almost mid thirties just for a, a base for a model base too. C6. That's impressive. Back when I bought my car, um, actually, so to put it in perspective, Carvana offered more for these cars, both of these cars, than we originally paid for them, mine and his. Mm -hmm. um, that's very competitive. When I bought my car, the market for the base now, it would have gotten me into a Z06, easy. Yeah. I've seen people do it, no problem. Like healthy cars, not whooped ones. Yeah, it, it kind of sucks to think about, but for the price that I paid for the car, plus the engine and all the other stuff that I've done to it, Oh we'll yeah, get into you, that in a little bit. I, I could have well bought a it. very nice Z06. Yeah, you could have been really <laughs> into it. 
but I mean, it is what it is. So you, you buy a toy, you want to drive it. Um, With your luck, if you would have bought a Z06 and you would have gotten the LS7 motor. It would have started on fire, probably. It, it, you would have been the, the specific person to, to first-hand experience the dropped valve issues that they had. <laughs> Out of all people, it would be you. Yeah, that, that's true. But, but the car is looking good. Did you do anything to the paint? Uh, yeah, actually, last week I did a full, um, I don't know if you want to call it a three-step, four-step, I don't know, paint correction on it. I, uh, I washed it, clay barred it. And then I, uh, I have one of those Roops or Rupees uh, dual action polishers. Gotcha. So I used one of those and I compound polished and sealed the paint and it, it feels like glass now. It, it's not perfect. It could use a wet sand in a buff. It's pretty, but man. But honestly, this, this looks really good to me, so I don't even care. Well, it looks better than mine. I actually was planning on doing this video with having my Corvette right there, but somebody in a Mustang couldn't handle themselves and slid into the back of my car. I will insert photos. Um, but once I get that back from the shop, uh, we'll be out. You'll be seeing more videos and photos of these cars playing together. Now that we've gone over actually how stunning it looks, the lighting looks beautiful on it right now. Um, what mods did you do? What, what parts did you order while the car was down? Uh, I know you were busy as soon as you got it back installing everything. What did you do to it? Yeah, I, as soon as we got it back, I actually, the first day we put on the new wheels and tires. I ordered a set of the, uh, the Z06 replicas. It's stock size in the front. It's uh, actually, no, it's not. It's 18 by nine and a half. So it's an inch wider than the stock uh, base wheels. And then the rears are 19 by 10s, but the offset is plus 65 instead of plus 79. So they yes. stick out a little further, fill out My the wheel My car wheels. is the factory oh, yeah. offset and uh, they don't quite fill the wheel well up yeah. just that perfect. But uh, went with a, a set of proxy sports. I didn't need anything too aggressive for like compound wise. These are just a really good um, summer tire. So that's why I went with these. But um, they they handle pretty well. They look good. And what brake kit is it? After yeah, the brake kit was the um, the power stop. Uh, what was the part number on it? Do you remember? <laughs> a part number. Was it like K one fifteen or something? Uh, something like that. Uh, I bought mine a while ago. I, yeah. I believe we do. It's the same kit, right? Yeah. So yes, yeah, so you go on Amazon. Um, you have a C five C six Corvette power stop makes a an upgraded brake kit. Uh, well, do you remember what the kit was? It was um, like, for the pads and drilled and slotted rotors, yes. it was like $400, I think. It really wasn't bad. And if you're a baller, they have the Z51 upgrade. Well, I guess if you were a baller, you wouldn't have the base model. But <laughs> <laughs> if you wanted that Z51 upgrade, that's like, I think that was like a twelve dollars or $1,500 kit or something like that. Yeah, it just, it gives you, I think, like an inch bigger rotor. In, yes. in the front and rear something like that yeah we're not really tracking these cars so uh, yeah, i don't, I don't think that's that for what we're doing i mean you definitely do more than i do and these brakes are a lot more than what i need so yeah yeah no they're awesome i have no complaints same ones no complaints i do also love the blue and the calipers yeah i don't know i don't know which previous owner did that but it definitely looks good with the gray and the black wheels makes it pop really nicely but yeah after after did the wheels and the brakes took the the headlights because they had the common issue where they were all cloudy and they were starting to get like little micro cracks in it from the uv in the sun yes so i took them to our friend um tim tim and i brought him the headlights with new lenses and new gaskets and he replaced the lenses for me and they looked absolutely brand new and then after that i took the car down to northtown lexus because they're a certified expel dealer for paint protection film and i had them put the I forgot what series they put on, but it's a paint protection film that has UV resistance. Um, it's self-healing, so if it scratches. I'm jealous of that. When it's in the sunlight, it heals itself. So it's pretty cool. Uh, I did the new fog light housings with LEDs. And then... You get a shot of that with the LEDs on. Yeah. Uh, after that, actually, while we were doing the brakes, because the wheels were off, that's when I put in the, uh, the LED side markers. Which, fun fact, Christopher got me those for my birthday last year. I love you, Peter. Um, Same ones as my car. Those yep. are beautiful. Gorgeous. And then and I wasn't going to because the ones that I wanted were expensive, but I ended up going on Amazon and there was some knockoff Japanese company that made 
uh, LED turn signals with built-in resistors, so you didn't have to wire one in yourself. Mm -hmm. And they were 30 bucks per pair. So I bought a set of uh, amber ones for the front, and then two sets of red ones for the rear, um, which is kind of stupid that it has four. At some point in my life, do I want to get the Infinity Mirror tile that are made for these cars? They look so good. But, I mean, I'm happy with these. I wasn't sure if I was going to keep the car or not. So I just I figured I would get these uh, cheaper ones to save a little money. They still look good. They're bright. They have that crisp uh, on-off that LEDs are known for. So I can't really complain. And then on the inside, I did a full, full LED upgrade also in the footwells, in the... Um, also another area that I'm slacking big time on mine. Mine yeah. still has halogen almost everything. Yeah, footwells, the the map lights, the oh, trunk scarce. lights on both sides. Um, I don't know if we covered it in the previous video, but yes. I have the uh, the MGW short throw shifter. Favorite shifter of all time. And honestly, I love it. It's super notchy. Yes. If Every anyone has never driven a car with an MGW in it, I highly recommend it. It will change your life. I'm going to have to have Chris... Uh, help me getting rid of this ancient piece of machinery in the dashboard. I think I know a guy. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I mean, as, as far as mods go so far, that's that's pretty much it. I The door hinges are a little wonky, if you want to call them Sagging, that. Sagging, if you will. Yeah, the uh, these cars, since they're so low to the ground, people who drive them, they have a tendency of bracing themselves on the door when they're getting in and out. So Yes, that are steering columns. Yep messes up the hinges so you got to kind of like lift the door a little bit in order for it to close all the way which i mean isn't a big deal but i have new hinges sitting at home so we're going to throw those on at some point um i went to the dealership actually where i used to work robert basil in orchard park just for shits and giggles i asked the finance manager if he could uh, appraise the car just to see what it'd be worth and he walked out and he was taking a look at it and he's like how much do you want for it and i was like well i Honestly, I was really trying to get like 30 to 35 for it. I mean, just throwing a, a high number out there just to try to get what I can get. And also, if you want it. If someone gives me the right number, it's theirs. Um, but Brand new warranted motor. Pretty much. Um, but he told me that he was gonna offer me 25, but he said that he might have a salesman that's interested, so he called him out and he fell in love with the car immediately and he said the same thing though 25 and i was like no nah, i can't do it and then he actually ended up finding me on facebook reaching out to me told me to text him so we were texting and he offered me more than what he originally offered me we'll put it that way so i'm i'm up in the air about what i want to do um I, I know want, you want to get rid of it. I want you to keep it and drive. I know you want to get rid of it. Honestly, like, I love driving this thing now. They're a blast. But it, it looks real good, especially after doing the paint correction. But, I mean, I don't know. Beautiful. The only thing that's really stopping me is how much I do love driving it now. Other than that, I mean, I, I would sell it so I can get a house. But the housing market is just atrocious right now. So, I don't know. For now, I'm going to keep it. It's got to go back to the shop for those O2 sensors this week. So I have uh, I have some time to think about that guy's offer before I make a decision. Right. But, yeah, she's she's looking brand new for the most part. Yeah, man, it's beautiful. I love What's up, guys? I really hope you like that follow-up on the Curse Corvette. Um, hopefully, there's some light at the tunnel for that car. Had a lot of bad luck, so hopefully, no more bad juju. Hopefully, Peter can enjoy that thing. Um, as you can see, cruise nights in Buffalo are going full swing. Lancaster Speedway is going full swing again. So, you know, car season's here. So, like and subscribe. I know this video is a little dry, so I want to throw in there some random cruise night burnouts that I caught on camera. So, like and subscribe. Stay tuned. <laughs>